All right, West Coast Nation, DJ MTK, here with Susie. Don't like, don't follow, but definitely fucking put some bullshit in the comments. We're doing the Dwight Howard. Don't. Don't call me white girl with Demona. Hold on, hold on. I I don't even know who she is, but I wa I had to watch it again. Shout out to Dwight Howard, living his truth, playing with buttholes and penises. I'm here for it. So if you don't know the story, if you live under a rock, there is somebody accusing Dwight Howard. I think of sexual. She said, if you don't know the story, you've been living under a rock. Wow. Some kind of ad. Dwight says, "Hey, how's your butthole look?" He goes, "This is my butthole right here, smooth. I like that butt. Bring it over. I'm Dwight Howard." He go over there to fucking. You know what I mean? I'm pulling butthole out. I got an NBA nigga. <laughs> This boy, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and bag the white hour with them blue ass braids. He gets over there, he ready to give up some butthole. What am I watching? In a dress with a beard with a short 27 piece wig and a kitten heel. And he put kitten heel in all caps because he was really offended by that. How do you know all that detail? Hold on, how do you know all that information? This nigga how was it all? What, 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 was you there? That's what the dude said. Who said? Dwight wanted to party. He want one bowl, baby. He want two. When the guy come, he said, go, deal off. That's where I Hold on, and so you, hold on, 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 hold on. Wait a minute. Dwight, okay, let me just make sure I understand this correctly. Dwight Howard invited someone to his house. Yes. Okay. The guy accepted and came. It was a guy. Yeah, and I think they had already knew about booty hole playing. So they already Okay, knew. that's already out. Uh, whatever. Sorry. They already knew something's happening, right? Okay. But look at do you what I don't give a fuck hey okay. they leave me alone that's what you like that's what you like right. so he pull up he was like oh right. shit I'm about to I'm about to bag me a, I'm so about to get a bag what, he about to get a bag so that's he, what she's talking about don't call me white girl uh huh so she's doing her reaction of, okay cause she got me like <laughs> alright there's and the so backstory and so she just explained that he, when he pulled up, there was another another man behind Dwight Howard, and they were about to party. Okay. okay. <laughs> so it's a it's a party. So it's a threesome. It's an orgy, maybe, probably, and they about to get down. Party. He didn't want one bowl, baby. He want two. When the guy come, he said, "Go deal off." That's where I draw the line. I was gonna fuck you, but like, come on, bro. Who is this nigga in this dress? I'm not fucking nobody with no kid heel on. Period. These niggas are six five, giving up. <laughs> uh, Straight up, uh, six five, manly ass motherfucker. A size what? Twenty two, and a kid heel. Who makes those? They make them. They make them for men. That's a lot. But let me just say. That's a lot to take in. That's a lot to take in. Wow. Mm-hmm. Bro, like, hey. hey. I, I'm, I'm speechless. I did not expect you to just watch that. No, so that's the word on the curb. The word on the curb is that this man pulled up and he was about to only get one booty hole. He might, he had sounded to me like he was probably like a bottom or whatever. And didn't like to play play. Did he know who's going to Dwight Howard's house? Did he know who Dwight Howard was? But you know, you you probably didn't expect because of because of Dwight Howard, you wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect to have like another a whole orgy and yeah. another dude. Yeah, like actually, you would want to keep it down on the down low, but he probably does wear Good pink bad. dresses behind closed doors. I did see him come out, I think it was on Instagram <laughs> Live, and he was like, oh, Who gives a fuck? You know what right. I mean? Like, don't, don't be you know worried what? about and my that's business. Okay. Live in your I truth, and that's fine. But you know what? You can't be accusing Dwight Howard for sexual sexual assault when you Who's pulled up him? the ge the gentleman that's like saying all these stories that he mm. got invited and pulled up and then saw that's another a whole man. Another. That's a whole and ran another. off. That's and he whole. ran off. And that's not sexual assault. You just got invited. It just you weren't comfortable. Right, you just weren't you down. Yeah. And so then you pulled off. And then instead of like, you know, there was no hush money. He could have asked for a hush money because now it's all dirty, a mess. And now Dwight got to come out and there's some shit coming out. Like, uh, you know, that sucks. I, I didn't know all this. Because it's feel like I would feel um, like. I, I am out of the loop. <laughs> I am what you call out of the loop on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad that I wasn't like sucked into this. Does he room. still play? No, Dwight has retired now. He's oh, retired. okay. Well, yeah. they're fine. <laughs> But this, don't call me white girl. Wow, I had no idea about her. Living his truth, playing with buttholes and penises. I'm here for it. Shout out to Howard for living his truth. I'm here for it.